Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the pilot episode of the Conquer All Mills Music Show. I am your host, Stefan Ramey, and this evening I am featuring the music of Patrick Thompson and the Pat Thompson Trio. But before we cut to the record floor, I would like to take a minute or two and explain the show's premise and how this production works. The Conquer All Mills Music Show is a program I record live off the floor at Conquer All Music in Conquer All Mills, Nova Scotia. Each Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m., I will feature one artist or band to play some tunes for us and chat a little bit about who they are and what they do. Shows are pre-taped before they air, but there is minimal editing done, so all of our listeners will hear the magic of a live performance. In addition to myself, the band, and my volunteer production team, we also record the show in front of a live studio audience. I sincerely hope that this is the first of many such shows produced here at my recording studio. Because this is the pilot episode and broadcasting is somewhat of a new hat for me, I welcome any constructive feedback our listeners have to offer. Comments or suggestions for the show can be emailed to Stefan, that's S-T-E-F-A-N, at conquerallmusicstore.ca. Over time, I will have production down to a fine science, but for now, I am going to just jump in with both feet and see where I land. So without further ado, let's cut to the record floor and our first featured artist, Patrick Thompson and the Pat Thompson Trio. You are listening to the Conquer All Mills Music Show on 88.7 Cove FM. Good evening to our studio guests and to those listening to our broadcast at home. That was Head Up by our guest tonight, Patrick Thompson, who is here with fellow musicians James Ramey and Daniel Forward performing for us this evening as the Patrick Thompson Trio. 
I am your host, Stefan Ramey. Welcome, Patrick, James, and Dan. Thanks for having us. Not a problem. Uh, so I want to thank you guys uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, you just played us head up. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what that song is about? Sure. That song is really about living in the present. Uh, we can spend, easily spend a lot of our lives worrying about what has happened or what's going to happen. And when you do that, you kind of end up missing the moments that are actually happening. So that song is really about living in the moment. Awesome. Uh, how about you guys play us uh, another song? Uh, I think uh, you had Country Home as your selection. Yeah, yeah we'll play Country Home. There's a field in my mind With the grasses growing long Cause no one lives there now The lovers have gone There's a stream in the middle What is clear where it runs deep It's there that I Run like the water headed for the sea Run until you feel free And if you get tired of being alone Remember this old country home and There's a house by the pasture It's not too big or small in the back I see some horses There's no one else at all Run like the water headed for the sea Run until you feel free And if you get tired of being alone Remember this old country home And don't forget Times, the moments you felt safe in these memories, it's hidden. You'll find a peaceful place, run like the water. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, that was Country Home by uh, Patrick Thompson. So uh, for people who are listening to this and aren't actually here or who know you, uh, why don't we start with, we'll start with what I call an easy question and uh, ask you, uh, when, when did you start playing music and why did you start playing music? I started playing piano when I was about six years old and I can't really tell you what my motives were at that time. Uh, other than I think I moved a piano into my house and I started banging on it. And it was probably more so my parents wanted that banging to sound maybe a little more organized and less noisy. Um, so I started doing that when I was six and I picked up the guitar when I was about 15 and then kind of started trying to songwrite when I was about 19 or 20. Awesome. And so you started on piano and why did you wind up gravitating towards guitar? Was that like me when I was a teenager? It's like, oh, girls like guys who play the guitar. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure that was probably part of the motivation. Uh, it just seemed, uh, songwriting seemed to lend itself more to me with playing guitar more so than the piano. So just kind of naturally, a natural marriage, I naturally guess. Naturally gravitated towards that. Uh, exactly. So, uh, and, you know, obviously, uh, well, maybe not so obvious to people who are listening, but uh, you've got 
two albums out. Uh, the first one you did was uh, Front Porch Troubadour, mm-hmm. and now your new one, Loving Fear. Can you tell us maybe a little bit about uh, Front Porch Troubadour? When did you record that? What was going through your mind when you were recording that? Uh, I believe that was about seven years ago. I think it was 2009 that that came out. Uh, that was... I had a... I had a few songs written at that point that I kind of wanted to record and put out there a little bit. So I, uh, I recorded with a uh, local guy, Bill Snare. He did most of the production on it. I, it was more of a stripped down version than the new album, kind of featuring more just the acoustic style, but it was getting my feet wet, as it were, in the recording process. Okay, and so then when you did your follow-up, Loving Fear, which came a while later, uh, what was your decision to actually change your sound well I guess not changing your sound but what was your decision to bring other people in into the fold so to speak uh when you did that really that bringing the other people in was a key part I wanted to hear what some of my songs would sound like with a full band because because the other album had been stripped down it wasn't a big step up from just an acoustic one so I kind of I wanted to hear if my songs really sounded any good if you put a full sound behind them and give them the chance to you know see how they did sound with that you know, bass drum, you know, give them a pulse, really. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, again, very happy that you were able to come in here with the trio with Daniel Forward on drums and James Ramey on bass. Uh, Maybe we'll turn things back over to you and let you play us uh, maybe uh, two songs. Uh, I'll let you do the uh, introduction and all the necessary preamble, and uh, I'll turn it over to you, Pat. All right, well, I don't want to speak for the two guys, but I think we're all happy to be here for the inaugural show having a good time. Thanks everybody for coming out here in the live studio audience. So <laughs> So we're going to do uh basically all the songs tonight are off the uh, the new album. So we're going to start off with Wake Up and uh we'll follow that up with what it means. Been a lot of time wondering what we should do. It takes a lot of time when you're afraid of being a fool. So break all those chains, cast off that weight. The time is now, so won't hesitate. You open your heart, stare that the revolution starts. Time for a shake up, shake up And finally we'll make up, make up Our minds so we can shape up, shape up The questions of yourself When things felt so wrong Now take them off the shelf So we can shape our 
Thank you. And what's the next one you're going to play first, Pat? Well, I get my harmonica arranged here. <laughs> this is this next one's called "What It Means." And uh, actually, you may as well while you're getting all geared up, do you want to give us a little bit of uh, background on this one? Sure. This song is, uh, I guess, it's about a stranger reaching out to somebody in need, or somebody reaching out to a stranger in need. darkness of the night and the thickness of the fog you get lost in the forest you get lost in your thoughts till you find the running water and you're standing at the edge you feel like a jumper on a crumbling city From the other side of the water I saw you standing there I saw the tears upon your face As the wind blew through your hair I saw you searching for the bottom Dreaming of escape So I reached out to a stranger Just hope I'm not too late You said much pat so uh pat just played us uh the first song he played was wake up and the second song that he played us was uh what it means uh i know i keep asking you this after every song but why don't you tell us what what it means means to what you it, <laughs> what it means means to me uh that one uh for me that one i guess i see in the world today you know with technology we've connected on a on a large scale, but there's also, I think, a disconnect at a smaller level. So for me, a song about somebody reaching out to somebody that they don't know in need, you know, was kind of what I remember growing up seemed to be more so that there was that sense of community. So I think that's where the inspiration kind of came for that one. 
Okay, so you're you're a man with uh, a lot of answers for uh, tough questions. When you're trying to write songs, is it ever difficult to come up with inspiration to write stuff? Do you have a bunch of songs in your head all at once that you sort of just pluck bits and pieces from, or oh, do you? It can be super easy, but more often it's extremely difficult. Uh, it's sometimes it's just the muse is there and it kind of flows out. Sometimes. There's nothing, and sometimes it's in the middle, and you kind of you have a little bit of an idea, and you have to plug away, and it's kind of like taking a sculpture out of a rock. M- most times, when you're trying to write a song, you feel like you're just looking at a big rock, and you got and chip, you're, yeah, chip if you're away lucky, to get to get to the inner part of that. Eh? Yeah, sometimes you're lucky enough, and you play a chord, and it's kind of like that first hit, and it feels good. Most times, not quite so much, but that's part of the joy of it too. I think if it happened all the time, and it was really easy. It wouldn't be so rewarding when it does click. All right, Pat, what are you going to uh, what are you going to play for us next? We are going to play a tune called "Can't Say Goodbye." And yeah, this is about a, a guy who should probably leave the relationship he's in. He's not, and it might not be for all the uh, the best reasons. Touch you all the time, you know she's breaking your heart When she stops loving you, go back to the start She's cool with the moves, yeah, she messes your mind She's a dime a dozen, but she's one of a kind Reason is the reason, is getting you high It's the reason you ain't leaving and she can't say goodbye She takes all of your money and she spends it back You're working all the time your paycheck don't last You packed up your bags Yeah, you're ready to go Scars you from the bedroom You walk back through the door Reason is so please Some is getting you high It's the reason you ain't leaving And you can't say goodbye Reason is so please Some is getting you high It's the reason you ain't leaving And you can't say goodbye much pat uh so earlier we were talking about uh so you've got your first album front porch troubadour you've got your new one loving fear which you have sort of filled out the sound now i know how you james 
uh, and Dan all sort of got together. And this sounds like a bit of a self-serving question from my end, but for the people who don't know, uh, how, how did you meet up with these two musicians? And also, uh, did you feature anyone else on the album? So maybe answer the question about them and then answer the question about the other people. Okay, sure. Yeah. Well, basically, uh, you and I had gotten together and I, had ex- we'd done some shows here, and I was to the point where I felt it was time to maybe take a few songs and try to record them. So you had these two fine gentlemen who are playing with me tonight. Uh, you recommended them, and uh, I think you showed me a few tracks what they had done. And they came in and did their respective tracks and knocked it out of the park. I think we had, most of the time, we were like, yeah, we probably won't get everything done in one day, and we were done early. So... It, uh, yeah, I'm, you kind of, you had known them through some other projects and some maybe more relation other than that, but uh, uh, it, it worked out awesome. So your recommendation was uh, was very spot on. Awesome. So uh, so obviously these guys sort of make up the, the core team for the Pat Thompson trio, but there were a couple other musicians that you had on the album. Do you want to say a little something about them? Yeah. So I had Hank Middleton came in, and he did some of the lead guitar work that's on the album. There's a couple songs where he and I, you might hear him, and then I'll be in the next little one, so kind of like dueling guitars a little bit. Uh, And Kristen Lewis came in and did some uh, background vocals as well, which really filled out some of the songs. And I think where she is in them, you know, really added that another dimension that, to me, makes the song stand out a little bit more. Yes, and uh, both of them are uh, not to uh, naysay our two lovely gentlemen that we have up here on stage, uh, Dan and James, but uh, Kristen and Hank uh, both have their own sort of uh, gig going on. Uh, Kristen plays with the Lewinskys, and I see them playing up in the city, and I think that they just released a CD, and uh, Hank as well does the Glimpses show over in Lunenburg, uh, and in addition to that, he's got two cds now does he of his he's got two music? of his own he's released one with collage which is another group that he uh, he generally plays with but yeah he's he's been doing the glimpses show for they're going into their 10th season this is my fifth season that i'm going into this summer and yeah Kristen, they i believe they released uh, their album the same week that loving fear came out but she's played with a whole list of names and they're both very successful in their own their own right yes so i'm fortunate to have them you know add a little bit add their touch to the album Oh, definitely. And I mean, just speaking personally, when I listen to it, it is nice to have, you know, harmonies and have those little lead licks and stuff in there. Um, so uh, I know that you had mentioned that you had played with Glimpses. Uh, I know that you play lots of other events uh, out of any event that you played maybe in the last five years or well we won't even limit it to that let's say out of your entire musical career thus far uh which uh event have you uh has been your favorite and why has it been your favorite the tough question followed by the tougher question <laughs> i'm trying to remember like piano recitals from when i was nine but i can't really remember to see how they would rank uh i think one of my favorite ones was actually this fall when we were the album was getting close to getting done and we got our first chance to perform as a trio at the uh Crave local dinner at, at Wiles Lake Fire Market here in Lunenburg County. I, I don't know. I had a great time. I don't know about these guys. Noddings of I'm, I'm seeing okay. heads nodding yeah. and thumbs going That's up. That's good. They're saying that the now because I'm here going anyway. up and nodding the wrong way, right? <laughs> um, so uh, we've talked quite a bit. Uh, let's uh, maybe hear another one from you if you if you got it in you. All right. This is actually the uh, the opening track on the album. This is Why Do You Lie? A shift in your eyes You're trying to disguise The truth that you hide Though it's no surprise When I hear the reason why You start to cry Why do you lie to me? Why do you look so blue? What are you gonna do? Who are you trying to fool? Why do you close your eyes when you say goodbye? When you try to hide? Why do you lie? Though it's not my place I see it plain upon your face 
tears from my dear cheek Leaving tiny streets The times you thought you'd leave Waited by your greed And now I have to ask Why do you lie to me? Why do you look so blue? What are you gonna do? Who are you trying to fool? Why do you close your eyes When you say goodbye? Shadows you're hiding from the sun. Where do you go when you run and hide away? You're welcome here among us. We hear the words you say. Now, every time you smile, lets me know. That it was all worthwhile Now you're standing tall Not afraid to fall You now know That you can have it all And I don't have to ask Why do you lie to me? Why do you look so blue? What are you gonna do? Who are you trying to fool? Why do you Close your eyes when you say goodbye, when you try to hide. Why, why do you lie to me? Why do you look so blue? What are you gonna do? Who are you trying to fool? Why do you close your eyes when you say goodbye, when you try to hide? So that was Why Do You Lie by Patrick Thompson. Now, listening to your music, I'm sure uh, if you do sell your music online uh, and even in music stores and stuff like that, they always like to categorize things and put you into a genre, pop, rock, all these sort of things. Um, I'm wondering uh who you would consider your roots and influences to be? I'm asking you all these really weighty questions. Uh, mm. Who your roots and influences would be? And if you could then, based on that, tell me sort of where you feel your music falls in terms of genre. I'm going to answer the genre question first. I feel like it fits somewhere in between two genres, and I don't know what two of those are. <laughs> Um, I, I've tried and tried to figure out where it fits and I really, I don't know, maybe folk ish, some rock, maybe <laughs> vaguely little, little folkish alternative. alternative rock of some I, kind. <laughs> I've, I've spent, I've spent legitimate time trying to figure it out and I haven't found a clear answer. Uh, so that's probably the best I can give you on that. As far as my influences, I don't think a lot of the music I listen to, I can't hear it directly in my music, but I'm sure it has affected me. Um, Wow. Uh, Chili Peppers are my favorite band. Again, I don't think when you listen to my album, you're thinking, oh, yeah, that guy. Give it He's, away, he, give it yeah. away, give it away now. Exactly. None, none of that. <laughs> um, but I, I think actually it was interesting getting into the, the studio and doing this album. I think I was able to use a little bit more of their influence because I've listened to their albums too many times. Mm -hmm. I'll continue to listen to them because I enjoy them so much. But there's some layerings and stuff that they do that I, after adding some parts, I think that I could, I could hear to me, their influence very subtly on that. Um, other than that, I mean, it's probably, it almost sounds like cliche to say, you know, you have Bob Dylan, the Beatles. I think I've listened to so much music and I don't know that there's a direct relation through mine, but I'm sure every single song I've ever listened to has influenced me. Somehow trickled down today. and distilled down into, into the music that you make now. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, 
I guess maybe this would be a good point in the show since we've discussed layering and adding things on there. There are a couple uh, pretty well-produced tracks uh, when I say that uh, more than just James and Dan and you Mm -hmm. playing and singing. Uh, So maybe we'll play something off of Loving Fear. What song do you think that we should play for that? Let's give a listen to You Are The One. I believe this is the radio debut for this one. All right, you are the one from Loving Fear by Patrick Thompson on 88.7 Cove FM. another treat us to another song live off the floor how does that sound that sounds good this song is called rather be because i had to choose a name for it for the album but it's forever been called the word song yes and you said you had a you had a little bit of an interesting story behind this one you were auditioning it to someone can you tell us tell us about that yeah a friend of mine who i've known most of my life and i kind of played the song for him and previewed it to him without telling it was one i wrote and uh I'll tell you the end of the story after the song. I'd like to get to know you. I'd love to see just who you are. You would share your things with my just go a little too far and pass these limits that we set that made us feel. Take our campus trapped inside walls, waiting for our dreams to 
fall into the daily beat of life to beat you up and takes your fight so you don't stand no not at all you're too afraid that you might fall so waiting seems your only choice too afraid to use your voice to say you're waiting for a chance but wait as watch while others dance I don't want to be the one who's sitting waiting so I choose not to be the one who's life is fading and I don't want to be the one with something missing so oh, I'd much rather be the one that she is kissing well good things come to those who wait but I don't want to hesitate understand that times are strange and I'll be patient till they change and everyone can see the light and realize what feels right it's more important by far. We could all just have enough for greens to see that we don't cut. Grows and spreads with the hunger. Since people in the numbers, I for one have had my fill. I'll lift my head and pose my will. Put a smile on my face so it may feel out of place. I don't want to be the one who's sitting waiting. So I choose not to be the one who's locked fading. And I don't want to be the one who's something I'd much rather be the one that she's kissing Do you know what's in your heart? Maybe that's the place to start If you're scared of what you'll find You'll let your ego run your mind Be like a puppet in a play Go through the motions every day Waiting for the sun to shine Into the corners of your mind There is work still to be done To find a place for having fun This room will not be exception there is no self-deception The path is ever yet unclear My feel all alone out here You don't have to stand alone You know these choices are your own I don't want to be the one who's sitting waiting So I choose not to be the one who's life's fading And I don't want to be the one with something missing So I'd much rather be the one that she is kissing Awesome. Thank you, Pat. Uh, and you, you had mentioned that you're going to give us a little bit of an explanation about this one, too. Yeah, so you may have noticed there's a couple words in every verse of that song. Maybe a few more than the, my just, other Just songs. a few words, a little bit A couple extra in there. Yeah, so the friend that I uh, played that to, I, uh, I was kind of, I didn't tell him that I had written it. You know, you're kind of hoping you play it, and they're like, oh, that's awesome. Who's that by? And then you, your head grows about two sizes, and you say, well, that was actually by me. It's not how it went. Played that song for him. It looked to me pretty deadpan. Said, yeah, I know you wrote that. I said, okay. So how do you know that? And he said, there's no way you'd, you'd remember that many words by anybody else. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're actually nearing the end of the program. It seems to go pretty quickly when you're in the thick of it. Uh, so uh, I think what we're going to wind up doing uh, is maybe going to one more song off of your album, Loving Fear. Mm. Uh, did you have another track that you would maybe like us to play for that during our show? Yeah, I think uh, we'll actually do the track that is the only one that's on Front Porch Troubadour and Loving Fear. So we got the old version and the newer updated one with the with their full rhythm section in behind, kicking it in the butt to speed it up a little bit. <laughs> and it's uh, Don't Need That Much. All right, well, this is Don't Need That Much by Patrick Thompson and the Pat Thompson Trio on 88.7 Cove FM. He stock shelves at the local grocery store Five days a week, up from seven to four He takes out the trash and mops the floor Everybody's thinking he must want something more He says, I don't, I don't, I don't need that much She passed the bar at the age of 32 Tried to figure out what she should do Didn't take a job with no high-paying firm She works pro bono People squirm. She says, I don't, I don't, I don't need that much. In a world filled with debt, if I 
found it hard to pay Try it different now, look and you might start to say That I don't, I don't, I don't need that much up for the night uh, i think it would be a prudent question to ask if people are looking to access your music or uh to listen to it where can they go to to get it or to to hear it uh locally you can pick it up uh right here at conquer all music um as well as in Mahone bay there's 2d's instrumental tools for the soul i believe i hope i got that right and also online uh, at my website, www.lovingfear.com. You can pick it up there right on the front page. It'll, it'll come up as soon as you click there. So if you want a digital, some people want physical, some people want the digital. So if you want the physical copy, we can get those for you, like I say, at, here at Conqueral or in Mahone Bay. And if you're looking more for the digital, you can get it right off the website. Or if you're in Lunenburg County and you want the digital copy, you can also get them where the physical CDs are available. Wicked. And uh, also, I guess another prudent question to ask uh, before we let you go. Uh, anything coming up in the future? Anything that you're toying around with, thinking about, going to do, possibly? Yeah, we're kind of in, I think, I know myself, I'm just getting over the hangover of the uh, the release itself. But I think this spring we're looking at maybe hitting the road to some sort of tour and do some more local shows and hopefully maybe get on some festivals and stuff coming up. But We'll be, we'll be getting something in the works soon for the upcoming uh, spring and summer. That's great. And if people want to just generally keep track of what you're up to, what's going on, uh, can you tell us, do you have, uh, are you on the, the Facebook or anything like that? I am on the old Facebook and the Twitter. Um, I'm at Patrick Thompson Music on Facebook, Patrick T Music, or at Patrick T Music on Twitter. And again, if, uh, you can also at lovingfear.com, you can join uh, the email list as well for updates that way. Fantastic. Well, I have to say, uh, as far as uh, trial runs and uh, sort of pilot episodes and the first time doing something goes, uh, I think that this went really well. I want to thank you, James and Dan, for coming in, as well as our audience for being here. A big round of applause for everyone. And uh, also a uh, special thanks to uh, Mark and Adam who have helped out with this uh, this broadcast. I'm sure we'll we'll drag them in for for other things at some point or another. Uh, want to thank everyone at home who's listening to this for tuning in tonight. And uh, come back next week, uh, Wednesday, seven to eight p.m. on eighty eight point seven Cove FM. It's the Conqueror Mills Music Show. Well, folks, that's our show for the evening. Thank you so much for listening. The Conquer All Mills Music Show is produced by Stefan Ramey at Conquer All Music. My engineer on the floor tonight was Adam Fancy, and my engineer in the booth was Mark Montages. I would also like to extend a special thank you to Jim and Tammy Spence, who provided all of us here in the studio with some delicious snacks after the taping. Please join us next Wednesday when I'll be featuring the Halifax bass band Aphasia. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback for me, please email Stefan, that's S T E F A N 
at conquerallmusicstore.ca or call the studio at 902-530-3730. You can also check out my website at www.conquerallmusicstore.ca or find us on Facebook at the Conquer All Mills Music Show to see upcoming acts and taping dates. We are always looking for live studio audience members, so if you have any interest in being in our audience for a taping, admission is simply a donation at the door. Again, I am your host, Stefan Ramey. Thank you for tuning in to the Conquer All Mills Music Show on 88.7 CKVE Cove FM. Please stay tuned to Cove for Time Machine, hosted by Bob McDonald at 9 p.m. Good night.